This program was uh, was desperate for success, and then last year they obviously had a nice mm -hmm. season. You take over now. How do you keep that momentum from last year going? Well, I think, uh, you know, first of all, I think Robert did a great job uh, while he was here. You know, he struggled early and uh, got him on the right track. And, uh, you know, a lot of those kids that he struggled with in his first year are now seniors here. So uh, they, uh, they've been around. They've been on both sides of it now. So I, I think, uh, you know, for me, I, I just got to come in and do my thing and, and uh, you know, build on the foundation that is already here. Uh, build on, uh, you know, some momentum that they had last year and, and hopefully uh, take off from there. You make mention of the fact that the senior class has been there for the grind to, to get to where yeah. they are. Uh, does that make your job a little bit easier? Well, uh, yes and no. Yes and no, because uh, they, they are seniors now. They're changing uh, uh, systems, uh, which is never, it's never easy to change systems. So we're slowing down a little bit. Football terminology, they have a handle on how I want it done that's still a learning process for them. And, uh, uh, you know, I think that uh, we need to uh, uh, understand uh, what we're doing a little bit better and, and we're gonna get there. Cause you know, like I said, this is just July and uh, uh, by the time August gets here, hopefully we have a good handle on things. You may mention that there will be some changes to the system. Can you share any of those changes? What's well, gonna be the biggest difference people see? Well, just a little bit different offense. You know, uh, you know we'll be, we'll be uh, uh, it'll it'll look similar, but you know, obviously, it's called differently. Uh, we have little different uh, blocking rules and, and things of that nature. So, uh, you know, we'll just uh, we'll just uh, try to learn it and do the best we can. This team snuck up on a lot of people last year. Have you kind of been sending the message that that might not be the case? Yeah, this year? yeah. They, uh, you know, I, I've been talking about that at length a little bit. They uh, they did sneak up on some folks, and uh, I don't think that there's going to be any surprises this year. It's the expectation. You know, I've always told my teams it's tougher to win when people expect you to be good than than the the uh, sneaking up on people. You know, if you win a conference championship, it's harder to repeat than it was to win the first one. So because uh, you got that bullseye on your on your chest, I'm not sure that we have the bullseye, but uh, you know, we're not uh, we're not uh, walking on feathers either here. So. We're coming. We're coming in, and uh, you know we want to. We want to win as many games as we can. But first of all, we want to be, you know, we want to be the type of program that believes in ourselves. We want to be the type of program that uh, uh, goes out and, and uh, plays as hard as we can every Friday. From your standpoint, what is the biggest challenge of coming and taking over a program? Well, uh, you know, getting your coaches on board, getting your players on board. Uh, you know, uh, we we have. Uh, people wandering in here every night that are new that I've not seen that you know you you uh, so you have to kind of start all over again and uh, uh, in your explanation of what you're doing and things so uh, I, I think I, I'm really looking forward to August 4th when we can say okay this is the beginning uh, you know we, we're sort of beginning right now but at, on August 4th uh, this is it and this is the way we're going to approach things and this is the way we're going to do it and and uh, we should have a pretty good pretty good foundation by then but uh, that, that's something to build on at that point. We did talk a little bit about Austin, um, whose name has suddenly, uh, you know, started flying up the charts. He's playing a new position. What do you think it is from what you've seen that makes him an intriguing prospect at the defensive end spot? Well, he uh, he passes the eye test. When, when you look at him, he, he looks like an athlete. Uh, you know, we're he's still got two years here at in high school, so uh, you know he's going to have to. Uh, Make sure that he is is uh, on board with what we're doing. Uh, that he, uh, you know, that he can excel here. He's got to excel here first, and and uh, you know, he, obviously he's no different than anybody else that's being recruited. He has to perform, and uh, uh, hopefully he realizes that. And we're gonna we're gonna remind him constantly of that. That uh, he has to be the guy that uh, performs here first uh, if he wants to go anywhere else and you know there's all sorts of other things too the grades and and that things you know our, our kids got to realize that if they want to uh, uh, pursue their football career the grades have to be there as well so has it been a fairly smooth transition for him to the defensive side of the ball that's the impression I'm getting well yeah uh, you know like I said he's he's very athletic uh, you know he, he runs well he's strong he's long and uh, he uh, you know he's just he's very athletic so once he gets uh, uh, you know everything down and committed to memory and, and so he doesn't have to think and he can just go react and be that athlete i think he's going to be a, a very good one is that you know? the biggest thing now just fine tuning a, a lot of the the technique yeah because he you know he's never really played defensive end before you know he's never played with his hand down so uh we're getting him uh uh 
you know, we're, we're, we're trying to get him used to that and try to get him used to, you know, taking the right steps, the right technique on, on shedding blocks and closing things down. And, uh, you know, there, there's no doubt that he can run things down. Uh, but, uh, you know, he just can't uh, uh, give up the other stuff, too. So yeah, we're working with him uh, hard and, uh, you know, at, at tight end as well. You know, he's, he's, he's a big body out there uh, to, to block that edge. And, and uh, you know, we hope to take advantage of his athleticism a, a great deal. And then uh, just, I guess, back, back to the team real quick. Safe to say we'll, we'll still see a very run-heavy offense this year. Well, uh, without giving too much away. I like to say <laughs> we're, we're going to do what – Ever it takes to move the ball, uh, you know. I have been a run guy in the past, and I've been, you know, even when I was throwing it 25 times a game, I was uh, still considered a run guy. So, uh, you know, I, I think you in high school, I think, uh, you know, it, it's best that uh, everybody is kind of considered a run team, and, uh, and then you throw it when you can because you just don't know what you're going to have from year to year. Uh, you know, you got to tweak your system a little bit, and we're we're tweaking ours a little bit to fit our kids. Uh, we, we seem to have a lot of speed at different places, and we're trying to take advantage of that. So uh, we'll see. We're, we're uh, uh, you know, we just got to get our kids to uh, learn what we're doing, and, and we got to get to know them where, and get them in the right spots. Mm -hmm. that, that's uh, that's our, our goal as coaches right now through July is to get them in a spot so on August 4th we can uh, really go to work.